There's been a lot of talk about a disturbing trend that's kind of causing a tsunami of misinformation and exaggeration in the e-bike industry about e-bike fires. And really, there are two sides to this tsunami of misinformation. And as with most things these days, it depends on your perspective as to which side of this tsunami you're on. From the research I've done, from over the last 12 years of my e-bike experience, there appears to be a whole bunch of overblown reporting that's simply not true and, quite frankly, causing some major panic. So today, I'd like to talk with you about what my research has come up with and give you seven tips on how you can avoid an e-bike battery fire. Over the last 12 years, I've dealt with DIY e-bikes, used e-bikes, and new e-bikes with all kinds of batteries. So today, I'm not going to get into all the specifics as to how the battery works and how they're made and, and all that sort of scientific thing. I simply want to clear up and clarify what I've found through my experience and research and quite frankly, in my opinion, what's true and what I've found to be misinformation based on faulty information regarding e-bike battery fires. And with these seven tips and with some easy to follow safety guidelines, hopefully this information will uh, give you some peace of mind regarding your e-bike batteries. Now, first off, let me be clear. E-bike batteries do happen and they are a very dangerous event. However, in my opinion, how and why these fires happen has been blown way out of proportion by the media and by the general public that are uninformed and lack the practical e-bike knowledge. In fact, most of the reported fires aren't even e-bikes at all. They're most of the time from cheapo brand knockoff scooters, skateboards, and mo uh, motorcycles. And usually when there is an e-bike battery fi fire, it's, um, it's a, from a super low quality cheapo brand knockoff e-bike that has been damaged or used improperly. I think these seven tips will help you. Tip number one, certification. One of the most important factors these days is to look for e-bike batteries with, uh, with an underwriter's laboratory safety certification or simply a UL listing. The UL safety listing is the gold standard in the U.S. for safety certifications. Now, there are uh, other European safety standards out there, such as several uh, from Germany safety standards. But keep in mind, many U.S. states are already enacting e-bike battery laws that require a UL safety listing for all e-bike batteries sold in those states. And in my opinion, it won't be long before all the U.S. states require a UL listing on uh, e-bike batteries. So, you know, if you're riding in the U.S., it just makes sense for safety and for practicality reasons to get an e-bike battery with a UL listing. Tip number two, the charger. One of the most important safety concerns when it comes to charging your e-bike batteries is using a compatible charger. Using the charger supplied with your battery from the manufacturer is the best way to avoid damage and or a fire uh, with your e-bike battery. Uh, so many fires are started with an incompatible charger and battery combination. Um, aftermarket fast chargers are a major cause of battery fires. If uh, you do need to get you know, another charger the best option is to order the replacement from the manufacturer of the battery and or your e-bike dealer where you purchased your e-bike and battery combination. If you have to purchase an aftermarket charger, be sure that the new charger matches the specifications of the original charger and is compatible with your battery. Tip number three, charging your e-bike battery. Never leave your e-bike battery unattended while charging. A dangerous habit 
is charging your e-bike battery overnight and leaving it unattended with no electrical timer shutoff switch. Almost all battery fires occur when the battery is being charged. You know, along with that, once your battery is fully charged, unplug the charger from the power source and the charger from the battery. Even if your charger has an automatic shutoff for when the battery becomes fully charged, if the charger is less left active, the, the charger may try to keep charging as the battery slowly discharges. Now, all batteries have some discharge even when they're not in use. The uh, charger may reactivate and try to charge, which can lead to overcharging even if your charger and battery have anti-overcharge safety features. In addition, I highly recommend you use a simple electrical shutoff timer for the charger. This way, if you happen to forget about the charger, the power will be automatically shut off to the charger and the battery after a set amount of time. Tip number four, using damaged equipment. This tip is pretty much common sense, but I'll list it anyways. Never, never, never use damaged, defective, or jerry-rigged chargers or batteries. Many of the battery fires are caused by using damaged chargers or batteries. Things like cracked housings, uh, worn or spliced cords or wires, or the whole unit being, being held together with duct tape and bailing wire. Now, you may be handy with these fix-it items, but batteries and chargers are not the place to be using your MacGyver fix-it skills. Tip number five, safety equipment. Probably the first and best piece of uh, safety equipment you can have on hand is a fire extinguisher. Even if you aren't uh, charging batteries, a five pound size uh, fire extinguisher rated for ABC type fires uh, should be on hand, not only when you're charging, but also for general home safety. Keep in mind that just having the fire extinguisher on hand is just the first part of the safety. The fire extinguisher will be of no use if it hasn't been maintained properly. Uh, in addition, you know, you need to know how to operate and use the fire extinguisher if the need arises. If you have the opportunity to practice with one, that would be uh, a great bonus. Uh, there's a lot of noise and pressure force when a fire extinguisher is discharged. So if you know what to expect, uh, that'll be just one less thing to surprise you during all the commotion. And lastly, keep your fire extinguisher handy, but not right next to your charging area. Battery fires are pretty intense. And if, you, if your fire extinguisher is uh, next to your charging station, you may not be able to get to it because of the intense heat generated from the battery fire. Uh, now, there are also fire-resistant battery bags and boxes on the market that, um, that you can use for charging your batteries. I've even seen uh, people put their batteries in their barbecue when charging. Of course, you don't like the barbecue off. Personally, I'm not a big fan of putting a battery in an enclosed space while charging because the heat that's generated during charging, even though it's a low heat, isn't uh, allowed to dissipate and... I prefer to have plenty of ventilation around the batteries when charging. Tip number six. The warning signs are pretty obvious on a battery. Battery fires are seldom just random events. On the slight chance there is a fire, it's almost always during charging. However, there are some signs to take note of. Uh, either the charger or the battery gets extremely hot. Now keep in mind that during charging, the charger and the battery will generate some heat, but if the heat gets to a point that uh, you can't touch it or anything like that, then unplug it immediately and stop the charge. Another indicator of a uh, problem is you see the battery start to swell or if the case shows uh, signs of deformity. If you see any kind of deformity uh, on the battery, stop the charge immediately. Uh, also, if you see smoke or if you smell uh, something like, like burning or smoke smell, stop the charge also immediately. Tip number seven. This is just a quick review of what we talked about. 
Now, instead of asking how cheap a battery is, look into the quality of a battery. Um, using the correct charger for your battery that was supplied by the manufacturer or the dealer. Uh, never leave your battery unattended while charging and use an electrical shutoff timer. Never, never, never use a damaged charger or battery. Also, don't try to MacGyver or Jerry rig a fix. Always have a fire extinguisher handy, but not right next to your charging station. Take note of the warning signs from your battery, such as any deformities on the battery or any smoke or unusual smells coming from the battery. I personally don't really worry about a battery fire, but I do take the safety precautions I just talked about. So I think if you follow all these tips, you'll be pretty safe with your e-bike chargers and batteries. Check out this video I made if you want to learn how to maintain your e-bike batteries and make them last a super long time.